amigos, otra fiesta. Estamos aquí desde casa con nuestra querida Gina Rodríguez. What's up, Gina? How are you? How are you, Luis? I want you to walk around with me everywhere and introduce me like that to literally everyone. Like, even if I'm just going to, like, Target. Like, I just want you to jump on that microphone and be like, hey, everybody, I just want you to know Gina Rodríguez. Estamos aquí. <laughs> that was the best intro I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Listen, it's a deal. We're making it happen. I'm catching a plane later, going to LA, and we're doing this all over. Nice. <laughs> it's so good to see you, and that we're doing this virtual. Where we're just talking behind the scenes that it's been a few years since you've come down to Miami. Obviously, you know, we've gone through this whole pandemic and stuff, but it's great to see you, and I love every project you put out. Oh. I want you back. It's amazing. Um, and it's crazy because, you know, being in my 30s myself and knowing all the drama that comes with dating and moving on, I feel like so many people are going to be relating and I think like relatable projects are so fun to watch because you can catch yourself being like oh my god I've been that person yes. what can you tell us about I want you back well okay so I want you back is about two people who just get broken up with find each other in their moments of sadness and uh, come up with an evil plan to break up their exes with their new significant others I happen to be one of the exes who has a new significant other and then Jenny Slade comes and try to mess up all my deal um, and it's and the hilarity ensues and I play Anne who is like a type personality loves to organize her pantry on the weekends and has a man for six years that she's just ready to move on And what she discovers is that like happiness is not in your partner. It's right here. It begins right here with the self. And I really dig that because uh, I need to be told that sometimes. You're the second person to tell me that in an interview this week because, you know, the artist Sebastián Yatra released a new album and he talked about how his songs are about basically loving yourself first and then, you know, you don't need anybody to love you. So I feel like the universe is somewhat speaking to me. Um. <laughs> okay. Just got dumped. I want to break up with you. What? Oh, me too. I'm breaking up with you. How will you describe Anne? You know, I would describe Anne as um, someone who is in that point in her life where she is reflecting on all the things that could have been, on all the what ifs, and really trying to find the person to blame for that. Gina, in Ultra Fiesta, we're all about music and, you know, we love a good song. What do you think is the best moving on song? Like, what is that one song that when you go through like a breakup or something, uh, you can play in the car and be like, I'm going to scream the lyrics to this song and it's going to help me heal. TLC, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. <laughs> Or no scrubs. <laughs> Or no scrubs. And yeah. actually TLC, that whole album. Exactly. That whole album. Do you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's, a, that's a good jam. And what do you think what do you think is like the best way to move on from an ex? Like what are some things like a person can do to kind of like leave that behind and move on with their life? For me personally, like I gotta be active. I gotta like do things. I gotta like really stack up my day, see people, make sure that I'm not alone too long to do something stupid, like pick up that phone and call them again. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I keep myself active, moving. Um, and then I sleep a lot because that makes time go by fast. And all you need to do with a breakup is just like time. Um, so yeah, those are the things I do. We're so proud of you. And you know, honestly, speaking about Latino representation, every time we see you and all the projects you've done, honestly, it's amazing to see you because you not only make us look good, but you're so amazing at what you do. And you know, you've done it all from like Carmen San Diego to Jane the Virgin. Uh, and in this case, and I want you back, you know, It's so good to always see you in this cast. What is like that dream, that dream role that you want to do? And that like, you're like, really like, you know, this is going to be amazing if I get to do this. Because I feel like all your characters always are different. You know what I mean? Nobody, you can say, you know how some actors kind of like play always the same. You always have something like it's always different. Thank you, Luis. Oh, I just want to stay in your beautiful compliment. I just want to live in that compliment. I just want to like nestle up in that compliment. Thank you, sweetheart. You're the best. Um, I, you know, the project I really want to do next, I want to do the project that hasn't been told yet by an artist that hasn't been given the opportunity with a cast that wants to act really bad and needs the opportunity. So the project that I want to do next is not with me in it. It's helping somebody else make their project come to life that wouldn't have the opportunity otherwise. And I know there's a ton of them. Please, Gina Rodriguez here. Lots of love. Thank you for the support. Please watch our movie, I Want You Back, on Amazon, February 11th. Mucho amor. Thank you.